Hi, I'm Drew, and today I'm going to be taking you through an independent research study which my team and I undertook. This study looked at the effects of hypertension on female mice brains, and more specifically, whether the hypertension causes inflammation on the brains. What is hypertension? Good question. Hypertension is just a prolonged increase in blood pressure uh, due to increased force applied on artery walls. So what does that mean for me? Well, that can increase your risk of heart disease, stroke, or even kidney disease. I don't get it. How does it happen? Well, here's a normal blood vessel, okay. adequately opened. However, in the case of hypertension, the blood vessel is constricted, which makes the heart work harder to be able to provide adequate blood around the body. So why are we doing this study? We're doing this study because it's seen that inflammation on the brain caused by hypertension may be a risk factor for stroke in the future. Furthermore, we chose female mice because males have previously been studied in, a similar, in similar studies, whereas females have not. So prior to our study, uh, Quinn, our advisor, had 16 initial mice randomly assigned to two groups. One group was a control group of eight mice and then there was a treatment group of eight mice. The control group followed the same procedures as the treatment group. However, the treatment group were administered with aldosterone. Aldosterone is a hormone which is naturally present in the body as part of a system which leads to increased blood volume due to water and sodium reabsorption and therefore increased blood pressure. To summarise, on day zero, blood pressure was measured and the in mini pump was inserted. On day seven, we measured blood pressure again. And on day 14, blood pressure was measured the final time. Mice were killed and we harvested tissue. Once we started in the lab, ice was collected as the solutions needed to be kept cool throughout the experiment. Pipetting was then undertaken. Pipetting is moving small amounts of solution in perfect precise amounts from one place to another. The solution was then vortexed. Vortexing is mixing the solutions at a very high speed. All the solutions are labelled and kept on ice throughout the, the experiment as you can see here. The plate is also kept on ice throughout. Once all the solutions have been placed inside the plate, the solution is moved into a piece of equipment called a centrifuge, which moves the solution to the bottom of the plate. Finally, the solution was moved into a real-time PCR machine, which measures the genes in the solution to see if there's any change throughout. Upon review of the data, an increase in the presence of three genes were observed, with those being CCL2, CCL8 and CCR2. The fact that these three have increased, these three genes have increased, uh, tell us that there's an increased inflammation in the brain, which we know is a risk factor for stroke. As this increase was specifically observed in the brain, we can draw the conclusion that aldosterone plays a key role in inflammation, and hence, inflammation is uh, inflammation in the brain is directly related to stroke. Thereby, it adds to our knowledge that patients with high aldosterone may be at, at a higher risk of stroke. It is significant that we, we performed the experiment on female mice as they have not been previously studied.